Hello again, Camille Queen. How are you doing today? Oh, that's right. I always forget that uh, I can't play with the gamepad on this. Ah, the last time I came so close. You have no idea. I came so close. I was at the cabin and I lost. This time I'm thinking they're just going to send barrage of cards after us anyway. So might as well just activate them both. It's not going to make much of a difference. So it's already at 60. No totems for the bosses this time. I'm guessing... Are we leaving the rerolls this time or... I mean, we can make belts more expensive. But... Mm, I'm thinking we cancel the rerolls again and leave the hook because it can't save us. So does this look good to you? All right. Taking some time to load. Okay. I'm anticipating some extraordinary pelts. Okay, hair pelts. Hmm. So we've got the beehive and the worker ant. Those are our cards. We should get rid of the mole. Place it on something more useful. We could place it on the beehive, maybe. Or we place the beehive on the mole then we would get uh, more bees Alpha and Wyvern Wyvern? I believe you mean Wolverine because there's no Drake on this there's only a hairy thing I believe I'm pretty sure Wyvern is kind of a Drake there's no Drake in this but yeah I'm pretty sure you mean the Wolverine right The Wyvern. Like I said, I the Wyvern. I'm pretty sure you mean the Wolverine because, like I said, the Wyvern for me it means Drake. Right? Like I said, uh, the wyvern is kind of a drake. I could be wrong, but... Uh, 
I mean, I'll try to... I'll find the wolf. Ah, wolf. Okay, because like I said, there's no wyvern in this. I would understand if you wanted the wolverine because of this, then we could place it on, I don't know, the alpha or on the moose. But like I said, there's no wyvern, so you want the wolf now? You don't want the wolverine? Yeah. Because like I said, there's no wyvern in this. These are exquisite, my thanks. Because they may sound kind of similar, they're totally different. A wyvern is a, a scaly drake. It's a smaller version of a dragon. There's no dragon in this. Oh, I don't know. There might be, but we haven't locked the cards yet. So we could sacrifice... I imagine the wolf... Uh, the wolverine placed in the moose. Or the mole onto the moose. We need to get rid of the mole anyway. Or we could get for Rat Pack straight away. Onto the moose. Let's hope this time the moose actually gets to kill something and not die to a snake. I mean. He managed to kill many things, but could not end up dealing a blow on the board. Wolf cub. I mean... Hmm. I guess I can hope for okay so yeah we do this we get rid of the wolf pop then he moves here he's going to take the hit from the wolf he's going to kill it next Well, kill them, I mean. Such a shame that we can't place the alpha right here. Well, oh, I've got a message. Okay. A message from my friend in Ukraine. So, left or right? I mean, if we go to the left, 
we could get rid of the mole and place it. Yeah, we've got nothing to place it on. Unless we get an interesting card right here. Oh, we could get a pack rat. There shouldn't be an ad right now, so I'm sorry it was making me... Oh, it's alright. Go for the rat pack. I would think right now would be the one cost for the blood. Because we might get a cat or something. The elk. Yeah. I want to allow you to take more items. In the stat, take this. A packet. Always useful. Yeah. No, I think I might wait for maybe getting the moose. Yeah. would deal for damage to me. If I knew I would get another crappy card, I would have placed the alpha right there. But no, it wouldn't have made a difference because then it would have struck him once and... Eh. Oh, we got the cuckoo!
Hmm. The cuckoo. Okay, we could go to the left and uh, place the mole on something a bit more useful, I guess, on the elk. Or we could boost the mole at the fire. Uh, no. Not the moose. We could boost the... The mole. Did I say the moose first? The totem? Alright. You came upon the old wood cover. Fix on intense gaze upon you. After another long moment of silence, she moved to offer carvings. Bugs. We've got no bugs. We've got canine. One. We've got one canine. Or something that jumps. And blocks. The grey-haired woman silently collects her carvings her left. See, the mole's not going to do us any good there. Uh. And we can't place either of them. So either we get the... No. No. Oh well. It's a game over. <laughs> wow, that was quick. It's almost time to die. Well, uh, not almost. All right, I'll be here. Just going for the trader. Show me some exquisite pelts. Hair pelts. Okay. We've got the warren for more rabbits. We've got the skink. Personally, I would pick 
the Ant Queen and the Warren. Because this strategy worked out great the last time. Rat and wolf, really? Uh, rat and wolf. All right. I'm just going to say the last time I did this, it was uh, great to place the ant queen. No, I didn't place the ant queen. I got the Warren with ants. So that one was great because I could place the the rabbits and I would keep getting ants to sacrifice them. I will make good use of these. Okay, we could boost something at a fire. I guess we could boost a mow. We could get a piece of carving, but again, it's a not always great. Or we could get a, a pack rat. Boost the mole. Because the mole is kind of alright, it blocks, but the warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the thing of her eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warmer creature by the fire, enhance its head, said one. Two times! Okay. You consider leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push it, look, pull away. Ow! Oh, they ate it! Fading time! Screams one survivor, leaping upon the mole. The spears promptly eviscerated the beast. You snuck away and the sickening sound gnashing and howling. Well, we don't have the mole anymore, but our choices are... Yeah. The only thing is, we should really think about getting rid of one of them. Did you know in the normal twill count as the ring? For the trial of the ring? No, I did not know that! That is an interesting piece of information. I did not know that. Oh. Well, it's too bad we're not playing in them. We could try that uh, sometime. I'm playing uh, the main game again. I did not know that. I wonder what Leshy would think about this. Because I always find the ring in the cuckoo first, and uh, I have nothing to worry about. Flying ant. Flying ant. I think this sigil doesn't change a thing. Ok, 
Okay. Oh yeah, sure, we could place the Rat King, but then we would miss the opportunity of getting a pack rat later, so eh. Oh, one blood would be nice because we have nothing else that deals... Well, that that needs one sacrifice because now we've got twos and threes, but we need one. Because we've got only one goat. And it's not an everlasting goat. It's a normal one. Because again, our cars depend on us using this goat, but we've got one. Okay, depending on the cars. It's alright. Because we could sacrifice a squirrel to place the black goat, then the moose buck or the die wolf. Then the rat king would sit there while we pick up squirrels to place that one there, maybe. Or we just don't play them, we just play that one with the squirrels and yeah. I won't allow you to take more items. In their stead, take this. A pack rat, always useful. Okay, to the left or to the right and middle or right completely. But I don't see why we would go to the right completely. I mean, if we want to focus on bugs now, then we have right and left. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking because the moose buck will just strike here. Avoid the raven egg and just kill the kingfisher who deals one damage. If I place it down, it's going to kill the kingfisher, but the raven egg would be deadly. So, I'm thinking because we've got the pack rat, we could just place a squirrel there to block the moose buck while we place this one right here the moose buck won't be able to push the squirrel out of the way so it's just going to deal three kill the kingfisher then They won't kill the kingfisher, well... This one's going to kill the raven egg, then the moose buck will go there, 
and kill the bat. Okay. Then left, like you said. Okay, cost of one, two, or three. One. The ringworm. Ah, and we know what we're going to do. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the tent no hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhances power, said one. Do I really need to ask which one we're going to place? Surely a creature could become more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your luck or pull away. Eat it! In an instant, several survivors set upon the beat. The beat. The beast. Blood and bones littered the campsite as the poor creature was torn limb from limb. Sick to your stomach, you turned away from the carnage and retreated. So next fires, we can boost a card. The river otter is going to kill our hand tentacle after this. All right. Put the pack on the goat. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Did 
do you still want to put the pack on the road? On, on the road. Not the road. On the goat? Or do you want to pick up one of those cards and you're going to change your mind? Maggot and yes. Okay. So we can boost something and then sacrifice or same thing but in reverse. So you still want to place the pack rat on the goat? Alright, so I don't think it matters really which way we're going, right? Pack rat on the goat. Oh, like I said, it does not matter which way we're going because it's the same thing. A few emaciated corpses lay within an abundant settlement. What did you feed them? The fire looked welcoming as always. So I'm thinking we boost the goat now. It would at least do one damage or we could boost the die wolf it could really destroy you want to boost the maggots i mean personally i would go for the die wolf because it would get us a, a win straight away but you want to boost the maggots yeah because it would get us a win. We can get from 2 to 4. 4 damage, so meaning 8 damage already on the board. We've got so very few cards. We can't go wrong with this. We deal 8 damage. And if we could get a card, a flying card to place on the die wolf. What do you think? What you first mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. I am the angler, you are the fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I could play the hand right now. Right, I'm going to pick up a card and place the squirrel there. Next turn is all right. Okay. We get the win. Go fish. Ah, the die wolf is just at the end. There you go. Uh, 
I mean, we could wait to collect uh, this one with deal 8, but we could pick up two more cards. I mean, this one's going there, it's alright. Then I place the dire wolf there after sacrificing the black goat. Then there's another card coming there. Hmm. Let's try to risk it for the money. Alright. Going to place a card that's coming, but it's alright because we will be able to play the moose and the die wolf. Where do we get money for pelts? Okay, the long elk, the strange larvae, or the amoeba. I mean, we could sacrifice... You want the larvae? All right. I like the larvae because once it's evolved completely, it's dealing seven damage on the board and flies. We will need another map. The goo! The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. So we could get another black goat with items on it. And maybe a stronger black goat. Who knows? Yeah. Oh. Sacrifice. I would go for the sparrow because then we could place it on the die wolf. Which would be able to fly and deal 8 straight on the board. Because it would be... Really... Painful to sacrifice the raven for something that the spy would do. Tie some goo. I will make myself useful. What shall I paint? I'm thinking the black goat, right? Hopefully he's going to give us back the item. Mm, yes, let's see what I can do. Ah, great, I tried my best. You did your best. Well. He changed nothing. He gave us back the same card. It was another goat with the items. No uh, more HP, no more attacks, it's just the same goat, but just as well, just great. Um, I've not seen, really seen that, really? Well, it happened sometimes that he does no changes, he's doing the same card. Um, I could, because 
I'm going to take three damage if I don't do anything. I mean, I could place a boulder in front of this elk. It wouldn't deal any damage to us, but then it would evolve it and it would move right here. Or well, this one would deal a damage and move here. Or well, this one would be stuck in front of the boulder. And then I could use the hook to pull him on my side. I mean... The porcupine would deal damage to the sparrow, but the sparrow would survive. And then... The corpse maggot will take the pork in the, the poor sparrow's place and yeah I can pull the elk farm he's going to evolve so I mean, he's going to deal two damage, it's all right. The strange larvae, I mean, the elk would kill the rabbit. Oh, I could just cut the rabbit card. Yeah, let's not take any risk there. It would be stupid. Ah, the magpie. We could place the magpie on the die wolf. Or, yeah. But we can't right now. We could sacrifice something that we don't need. I'm thinking the hand tentacle because it's not... Okay, the pack. Yeah, we need items. That's right. Uh, we've got nothing that costs bones. We could pull out a tooth. We could get them to fly. Okay, the fan.
fun. Okay, we could uh, get a squirrel or pull out a tooth again. We've got uh, the clock. We, oh, we've got the fan again. So we could get them to fly again. The fan again. The strange larvae would withstand the hit from the elk farm. But then I would take two damage. Or I could pick up the squirrel, place the rat king. Right here, you would deal two damage and take care of the elk farm. Like we need them. I won't use those just to get this one to fly. That one can get us the win. The HP, the kin, or the cost. I mean, unless they, um, two goats, one booze, the cost of blood. Let the trial of blood begin. Nope. The trial was failed. Okay, so piece of carving, we've got none. We should focus on boosting something, I think. Like I said, we could boost the die wolf. Or we could boost the strange larvae. Yes? Yes, the wolf? Or yes, the strange larvae?
the wolf. We can boost him twice. A few emaciated corpses lay within an abandoned settlement. What did you feed them? The fire looked welcoming as always. Huh. Now it's going to deal 12 damage on the board, but it would really depend on us getting the wolf. Like right now. Let's just get rid of those bones. Ha! Huh, good! Thank you. The Relentless Wolverine. Its hunger only grows greater as it kills. The Cuckoo. I like the Cuckoo. Sacrifice the Wolverine onto the wolf. Sounds like a plan. But not yet to be done. We could boost the wolf again. Because we've got no co Well, we've got the copy of the black goat. But why would we merge the black goat? Ah. Oh, they're going to force us to merge the black goat. Ah. We're going to m reduce our choices. So yes, we boost the... Ah, uh, yes, we boost the die wolf. Ah, they're going to reduce us... The choices for the... Ah. Boosting the fire wolf, yes. They're going to force us to reduce the... A few emaciated corpses lay within an abundant settlement. What did you feed them? Fire looked welcoming as always. I'm thinking the die wolf doesn't need this boost. We could boost the strange larvae. Alright. <coughs> ah, they're forcing us to boost the ghost. Did you bring us to the same? We would like to experiment. Anything but the goats? Now we've got one! You should. You don't want to see this. Kind of sucks that you can't just say no, I'm going to pass. Now I have but one black goat. It is stronger. I don't care that it's stronger. It's there to be sacrificed. We had two goats to sacrifice that each of them would give us items and now we've got one. You took in the familiar sight and sense of the trapper's pelts. But something was different. The once friendly man now beheld you with steely gaze. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Ah, well, we won. Uh, yeah, 
we won! Because we can do this now. Okay. Going to get some water. All right, I'll wait. Ah, it is the end of my turn. Let's trade. <laughs> oh, look! A mole that strikes twice. Oh, what a threat. The choice is pretty obvious, really. Just get the moat out of the... Welcome back! Look what the joke they placed in front of us. A mole that strikes twice. Really? Such powerful creatures. Choose wisely. Trade for what he can, but know this. The rest will stay in fight for me. Like, get this out of here. Strange choices. Don't worry, I'm not going to use the mo. This would be stupid. The die wolf will get us the win. Okay, we've got... Oh, we've got the Gek! We've got the Gek. Something else to sacrifice. And boost. We could boost the Gek now. Boosting it at a fire would be pretty good. We will need another map. Pine needles crunch beneath your feet. You drew in a breath of fresh scented air. You were embraced by the woodlands. And look, we could get rid of one of our card. I'm thinking the hand tentacle. Just get this one out of there or we could get rid of the rat king the sparrow unless we place the sparrow on the die wolf no we've got nothing to because yeah the fewer cars that we've got the more chances that we get to place the die wolf which would get us the win but we can go either way we can go to the left, to the right, and go there. Carving. We've got no carvings. Really? Ah, wolf cub.
You came upon the old wood carver who fixed an intense gaze upon you. After another long moment of silence, she moved two of her carvings. Pushy. Moose. We've got a moose, an elk. No, we don't have an elk in this one. We've got a goat, a moose, and that's it. We've got a dire wolf and a wolf pup. Yeah. You hunched down to place an offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Well, we know what to do. So we could go there, buy a couple of pelts, get rid of something useless, and get... Hello there, Varez. How are you doing today? So yeah, we could buy a couple of pelts, get rid of something that we don't really care about. I'm thinking either the tentacle or the rat king. And then we get the... Sorry I'm late, I was watching a movie. You're never late, don't worry. Good. So we could get a golden one for a rare card. Or we focus on those. I'm leaving you the choice. <sighs> okay, goat. Ah. I got it open. Sorry, I'm just pouring myself some more iced tea. So that I have something to drink. Gold. And we just had enough. Okay, get rid of, like I said, the hand tentacle, or we could get rid of the moose now. I'm thinking the moose, because we would like to focus on the die wolf, right? Right? Especially the fact that I hate having things that move. Alright. 
get out of there. And we've got nothing that costs bones. So, eh. Well, I can't take two damage. We could just place a golden belt right there and take only one. I take none. I can't take one damage, it's all right. Strange larvae, really? I'll pass my next turn. Yep, you do that. You know, I just had... I thought, oh, I'm picking up a squirrel to place in front of the wolf. Then it's going to give enough time to the larvae to evolve. But no, I just had like a, uh, a brain freeze or something. I was like, so focused on this thing that I completely forgot what I was doing. I was like, oh, I'm picking up the squirrel. I'm going to place it in front of the wolf. My larvae is going to evolve and get me the win. And just as I picked up the squirrel, it's like I completely forgot what I did. And, and I pressed the bell. We could try to get the bug deck. We've got the ringworm and we've got the flying ant or we've got the coal smuggard. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I'm so I will make good use. Oh, I'm so I don't know if it happens to some people, but sometimes you're so focused on like, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to get the win. Oh, yeah. And then you suddenly like phase out and do something completely stupid, like forgetting your strategy. My thought was placing the squirrel in front of the die wolf, obviously the fire. I was going to place in front of the wolf. It's going to block it, and my 
larvae has enough time to deal damage, but no! The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. That happens to me every time I play Inscription. It's kind of like a brain fart of something, like, oh yeah, yeah, oh, it's going well, and then... Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Oh. I'm a creature but a fire enhanced hell, said one. Oh, I'm so mad at my son. <laughs> oh. Keep it right there, so it's one survivor. The creature could become one um blah, more powerful, but the survivors look hungrier by the second. Push a look. Eat it! Well, we've got a tank that deals no damage. The survivors were right about the flames. They enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your ringworm. Can't I just say, oh, keep him? Why can't I just offer the the ringworm as a sacrifice for them? Like, keep him. We don't hunt them. Do you like Pokemon? I know nothing of Pokemons, I'm afraid. It's not something that uh, I am knowledgeable about. Oh, we've got a cat! My friend Bash, she knows Pokemons, but I don't. I don't really watch any kind of anime, don't have anything against it, I just never had any interest towards it. Uh, so we could sacrifice something, like placing the black goat on the cat, or we could get Items. We can always boost something by the fire. Goat and the cat. Oh, we could get another squirrel or bleach. I mean, if we've got the undying cat. Yeah. A squirrel. We can't go wrong with a squirrel in our hand. Wow. Well, the ringworm can take a hit, couple of hits. Thank you. 
Oh well, doesn't really matter. We can boost something and get from the prospector. Cost of one bone or many. No, I don't think there's anything that costs one bone. At least two bones, four bones, six bones, or eight. Or cost of one blood, three blood. Rattler. I'm thinking the fire, right? Because we can boost things now. Well, we can boost it. We can sacrifice the ringworm. B. Well, there's a fire right there, yeah. So you don't want the gold or the fire right there. You want a carving. Alright. You came upon the old wood carver who fixed an intense gaze upon you. After another long moment of silence, she moved to her for her carvings. Something that flies, something that affects. Hmm. No? What? No. No, what? Uh, if you didn't want us to go for the carvings, well, it, it's too late. The yes one. You hunched down to place offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Well, we've got a fire right now. We could sacrifice something. Uh, but yeah, I want to get rid of the ringworm. I mean, the mole could take two hits. And then two more. The elk farm's not going anywhere. Ah, the undying cat.
the rattler. I concede. Yeah, I think it would be best for us to just pick it up because, oh yeah, he deals damage here, just to, no. We're not doing anything to risk it. Let's not risk it for the biscuit. It's not worth it. It's a biscuit with reason in it. Raven egg sounds good. Okay, so we could either... Nah, I think we can both agree to sacrifice the ringworm, right? Yep. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warmer creature by the fire enhanced its health, said one. Yeah, try it. You considered leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push it. Yeah, eat it! In an instant, several survivors sat upon the beast. Blood and bones littered the campsite as the poor creature was torn limb from limb. Sick to your stomach, you turned away from the carnage and retreated. Here, keep the bones. Yeah, how very kind. You came upon the old wood carver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After another long moment of silence, she moved to of her carvings. Bugs. Flying bugs. We've got a flying ant already. Birds. Flying birds. Really? I think we could still take the bugs in case we get mantis or... I mean, it's not going to be very useful straight away because we've got a flying ant, but later we might have something, f you, uh, you know? I mean, flying bugs, alright, but... The grey-haired woman silently collected our carvings and left. That's why I don't really go for the carvings myself, because... More often than not, the lady doesn't really give us much. Trust the prospector! Uh huh. Uh. Well, the moose bug is the one who's dealing the most damage, I think. I mean, I could place the moose buck right there, he would strike it, then he moved there, 
he takes the hit from the coyote, kills the coyote next round, he goes there, next the mule goes there. Later the mule will go there and Yes, yes. I mean, the moose buck is about to be turned into gold. Unless I bleach them. I can pick up the bones as well. Could place him there. I do the raven egg right here, which would deal the damage required. I bleach them so that the pack mule is not going anywhere and the wolf pup stays at it is as it is. Then I'll get the cards required from Okay. Curse you! I didn't quite see other than the ringworm what I got. There's gold on them cards! Okay. Gold! I struck gold! Okay, so I've got the prong horn. Not very useful in the corner. The coyote, I've got four bones, I think. Maybe, I can't see. Flying ant can deal some damage. Wow, flying wing worm. It's going to be super useful there, isn't it? Get him! Get him, boy! I mean... I mean, I won, but... Not by a lot. Well... I can do something else. I can play punk horn, place it there, and then play the squirrel right there. Well, now we've got some money. Some money to buy pelts. At this one. But I'm not sure if it's a priority right now. Oh, the Gek! Oh, and the fake one. But the fake one has really helped us. The fake Ouroboros. The imposter. I would go for the Gek myself. Because now we can boost it. At the fire. It would be a strong free card.
Yep, the gecky. Later we'll get the, a chance to get some item. Let me think. Ah, the item is right there. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. So, we could get a random car that has a buff on it, or a random car that we could maybe buff or sacrifice something on. Myself, I would go for the trial. Maybe we'd get something out of it. But there's a possibility. So let's think. It would probably ask us for the cost of bones. So we've got the rattler. Uh, the sacrifice is the cost. So cost of blood, four blood, for example. So we would be good on that one. Or... Unless they gave it the Gek and the Rattler. All the HP. They sometimes ask us for 6 HP. Yeah. So I would go... Or the attack, maybe. So let's see. The 6 HP. The 4 blood. Of the 5 bones. I would go for the blood. Because, you know... The trial of blood begin. One... Th well... This is the best bet we could have had. Because... The bones only depends on one card out of all of them to give us the bones. And the uh, 6 HP... Only the moose could have saved that star. So, yeah. So we could get a goat. The fan. Oh, the hourglass, maybe. We don't get that one often. Alright. Oh, I think the choice is clear now. Right? Okay, and we can boost the Gek right there, next. Mm. What's the magnifying glass do? It, it allows you to look through your deck right now to pick up another card it's like the bones in the main game
I mean, I could get one damage in front of the... Or... Hmm... Yep. I think our best bet would be wow, a mole really. I mean, I could sacrifice the flying ant and stop three damage from eating us, but the elk fawn will. Well, it's going to block that one, that one, and it's going to die at that one. Or we could stop the time. I'll pass my next turn. Pass. Yeah. Moose Buck. I should have placed it uh, I don't know why I've been so stupid with my choices. The gag would kill the elk fawn. I So the egg found's dead, the crow will deal 2 damage, the moose bug will be stopped by the squirrel after killing, the porcupine will move there to kill the raven. Or the mole could stop the elk from dealing anything, or... Mm. And we won anyway. But yeah, I've made a mistake. Because sometimes there's something I, I do. I place a squirrel, I'm like, oh, I don't care when I'm going to place the squirrel because I'm going to sacrifice, uh, sacrifice it and place uh, the card that I want wherever. But my train of thought stops there and I'm like oh I placed the squirrel there I'm going to sacrifice it place the the, the, the 
the, the card right there where I placed the squirrel, which is stupid. So yeah, we are going for the fire. Like you said. Okay, we could get birds, hooved, or the wolves. Yes, I know the fire. So the birds, the hooved creatures, or the canine. The Alpha. Let's boost the kick. Ah, the warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. No hungry survivors will be bothering you this time. I, I hasn't been been school enough to do math test. Oh, myself, I hated math. I remember that I hated math. So I'm thinking we boost the gek. Myself, I'm glad I don't have to go to school anymore. So do we boost the gek or are we boosting uh, the mole? We could try boosting the mole until it becomes a tank. Yes, so we boost the gek or the mole until it becomes a, a huge tank. The gek would be nice to survive many hits. Mass makes me lose brain cells. Yeah, mass is not for everybody. So yes for the gek or yes for the mole? The gek. A tanky gek. Okay, squill to place the mole. Eh. We will probably need something to... I mean, if the mole is next to the alpha, it would get one. It's how to go. Really? Oh, but we need to manage to get there first. We can't play either the rattler or the alpha. We can only play the squirrel. And then the mole, only one of them. Only the squirrel to block the porcupine. We can take one hit, but we need to take the raven out. Ah. Well, the gek can deal at least one damage. The squirrel can be sacrificed by the mole to take the damage from that one, but uh, I can only deal one damage to get this here so he's going to deal three so 
so I've got one bone. There's no way I can play those. The black goat. Wow, wow, the black goat. Wow, I think we won. No. So, again, the game killed us. We don't have anything to do. We can't do anything. I mean, oh, the gag's going to kill the cuckoo. So what? The raven will end us. There's no way. I mean, this mole is not worth three bones to place the alpha. Even if I place the alpha, it's not going to kill the raven. So we're doomed. Uh, I thought almost my uh, shut up. So again, the game said no. You stop right there. Nah. Well. Are your parents clean? Are you the one who gave them to me? So, next one you can try on your own. Meaning you're leaving, or you want me to choose? You get to choose everything. Well, we can always uh, discuss things. If you think that I'm wrong, you can just let me know. Hey, no, no, don't do this. Personally, I'm thinking the beehive and the wolf cub. So I'm going to respect your choice that you want me to choose. But if you think that I'm making a mistake, you let me know. Like I said, personally, I'm thinking we could try to turn this deck into a bug deck somehow. Or a cheap one. Because the only expensive card right there is the moose and I really don't like it. So we could start with the beehive. I mean, things that need more HP. I've got nothing that needs more HP, so the mealworm's not going to be there. The beehive would give us bees. And the wolf cub would evolve, and it's cheap. You have my gratitude. So, we can sacrifice something, boost something. I've always said if you really need it. I mean, I'm per perfectly fine playing with you making the decisions. It's just how I uh, play during the the, 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 the the fights, depending how I adapt with your choices. It has nothing to do with you making wrong choices. It has something to do with how I play things. Because I'm making mistakes sometimes during the fight. And it may not be apparent, but sometimes I make mistakes in one fight that will cost me in the next one. So, okay. So like I said, it's nice to have somebody to question my decisions because like I said you've made some pretty good decisions during sacrifices and stuff. So if I were to make all the decisions myself it would be like the 
uh, the main game all over again. It's just a different way of playing by leaving you to choose. So if you want us to... This is the only time. Okay. Alright. Um, so I'm thinking. I'm placing the beehive and the mole. That way, the mole will jump in the way of attacking enemies and it will give us a bee every time. Usually the way I play it, I avoid the totems sometimes because I know that this may not give me a great card. Okay, so this is my run. Yeah. So yeah. The 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 totems, the carvings, I see them as like a 33% chance of a good totem. But the last time was oh flying bugs. Mm. So right now we could do this. Because the mole has more HP, it has the same cost. It's going to jump in front of the enemies and give us bees. Pushy birds. Okay, so the raven eggs not going to be of any use placing the mole there. The wolf god will strike once and then it will evolve and kill the raven egg. Easy. Oh, well not that easy. It's all right. I've won. Okay. So we could get another item back. Or we could boost something. Again, we could boost, I think, the mole. If we boost the mole, at least it would deal one damage instead of, you know. Because if they place birds every time, this mole may be good, but it won't stop them from hitting me straight away. So, because this is my run, I'm going to take the cheapest one, a warren. You place a warren, it gives us a rabbit. Then we've got more things to sacrifice. So I'm going to boost the mole right now. Warm a creature by the fire, enhance its health, said the hungry survivor. Hmm. I could buff the wolf cub. Surely your creature could become more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. No, we are saving a wolf cub. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf cub. Okay, can buff something else or sacrifice something. A rabbit. I don't think the rabbit is going to be... Hmm.
Um, I guess I could place the bow spot right there. It would just turn around after striking for three. It goes there, it strikes the snow fur and goes there. Then I'm going to pick up uh, and square all to place there. The ball will move the rabbit out of the way, strike the mole, and it's going to give us a B. Place another rabbit there, so they really count on the wild ball to deal any damage, really. Alright. The ball will kill the rabbit and move here. The wild ball will just do its thing. I mean, I've won. Can't really do more. Oh, stops from flying. Oh well, same difference. Okay, so I could sacrifice something, or I could boost something. I could sacrifice the Warren and place it on the Wolf Cub. Hmm, the bugs? Ghost maggots. I could place the ghost maggot on the moose bug, then he would cost less expensive, but he's the only expensive card in my hand. I'm just going to sacrifice the Warren that deals no damage and I'm going to place it on the Wolf Cup. Or I could sacrifice the Corpse Maggot and place it on the Warren. That way when something dies like a squirrel, it's just going to take its place and give me a rabbit. Oh, same thing really, I played the warren on the cause my gut. The cause my gut would deal one damage. So the warren, I could sacrifice it and place it on the corpse my gut. Just going to get uh, a squirrel killed and yeah. Okay, I'll farm. Okay, so this elk farm is blocked by that one, so it's that one. Okay. It's going to kill the rabbit, stand in the way of the elk fawn that will evolve. It's okay, it's going to take the hit. And this one is going to kill it. Well. I didn't think he would move straight away. Well, that's alright. Okay, 
I have only enough for one belt plus a free one. So two hair pelts and sacrifice something so I could sacrifice nothing. I don't feel like sacrificing anything. So I could get another item plus a random card. Okay. The elk farm is cheap again. And it evolves. Um, I think we've got only Rattler that costs bones, right? Bleach. You came upon the old wood cover with some tense gaze upon you. After another long moment the silence she moved to offer carvings. Something that no. So reptiles or wolves. We've got the wolf cub, we've got no reptiles. I would go for the canine. Without another word, the wood cover was gone. Okay. The trapper stood before you. Out of habit, you reached for your collection of teeth. The man grimaced and shook his head. You should have come here. Hmm. Okay. You're going to kill the squirrel. The cops my gun will take its place, then I'll place the mole in the way. Or I could simply place the mole right now. And then place a squirrel. Oh no, I know, I'm going to place a bee right there, then it's going to strike the strange frog once, then the strange frog will kill it, the ghost my god will take its place. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. 3B, so I could get the trap destroyed with 1B. The mole will take the damage from that one. Or oh, I could take the damage from that one. Oh, okay, so it took the place of the... Oh. Well, we've got bees. Wolf cub, no, I'm going to save it. Well, I'm, I can save it for him. The cops, my gut will deal with the rabbit. I can't take to him. Okay. Thank 
you. Thank you. Okay. The skinning knife turns. Let's trade. I hope you brought pelts, because these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out. Trade for trade can, but no this. The rest will stay and fight for me. So obviously I need to get them out of the way. Prickly skunk, I don't care. Flying ant is going to ignore the wolf. There's no ant to boost it. The mole, we don't care. The mantis will deal some damage. We could place it there. No, the skink would kill it. Uh, we could just pick them up. I guess the corpse maggot could just kill the ringworm. Or I could place the moose to kill the skink and hurt the mole. The elk fawn is in the way of the wolf. Or the wolf would kill them both. He would kill them both. The wolf cub would evolve and strike uh, whatever really. The wolf cub could replace the cosmic god that would kill them both right there. The moose would kill them and push the wolf out of the way right there so this is not something that I want um, so the wolf will kill them I'm going to place the other wolf which will kill this one this one's going to strike here, then die. Guess I could take this kink. Oh, I know. I take the skunk, it's going to. Hmm. If I take the skunk, it's going to stop the mantis from dealing anything. Or I could just take the skunk. That way the wolf wouldn't be... Reduce its damage and it would be prickly. But then I could sacrifice the skunk later. The mantis! I don't really care. I mean, I kind of care. Yeah. Strange choices. Oh well. Let's see the result. So, the corpse my gut will kill the ringworm. Don't care. The wolf will kill them both. The mole will be left. Oh, I could place the squirrel. It would be there. I could place... The wolf cub. Right here, it's going to evolve after this. And then I'm going to place the uh, next squirrel in the way right there.
So he's going to take all of their hits. It's fine. Then and I get some extra damage from this. I should have thought about this first, and I could have sacrificed the corpse maggot with the black gold, then placed the moose there and placed the uh, mantis right there, but I, I don't care. Okay. Is this the first boss of this one, or...? The second. I have never played the Daos before. When a card bearing the sigil is played, the chime is created on each empty adjacent place. Chime is defeated as a zero power, zero health. So it's kind of a beaver, but gets aggressive whenever you. Gets struck its spells. Mm. Personally, I prefer the child because it's kind of uh, a cat, but you know. Oh, yes, I know. We've got the goo! So, of course, we're going to see the goo. The sun rose over the sleepy furs, birds fluttered across the path of the wolves and elk. You were embarking upon the woodlands. So we are going to see the goo, of course. Feared mice, good. We could place the feared mice on the wolf cub. Oh no, let me paint for you, I will aim for perfection, okay. So yeah, I'm thinking we do the corpse maggot again. Ugh, I will paint your card. Ah, made it stronger. Did I do all right? Yes. Good. And he's going to give us the non-avoidable option of merging them together. The coyote. So, going to place it right there. I'm still there. Yes, I know, I know. Just let me know if I'm doing something that you don't like. Ah, okay. Could place this right here. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, I'm going to place it right there, it's going to give us bees and rabbits. Well, they gave us rabbits, it's going to kill that one, it's going to deal damage on the board, should be alright. Thank you for the bees. Going to place the bee right there. Okay. 
I mean, you can strike directly, or I could do so the elk fawn would de would kill the rabbit, would evolve next turn. Okay. The bee would be placed. Okay. The corpse maggot would kill it. The alpha would go down. I don't want that. The child would be pissed off. So the corpse maggot will kill the sparrow. The alpha goes down, which I don't want. Could play the child. Right, place it right there. Place the goat, play the field mice. Like this, I get a copy. Okay, the moose buck, the mole will give me another bee, the field mice will get us closer to a victory, looks good. Okay, let's see. Okay, do we get the ringworm? We could buff the ringworm at a fire. Or we could simply buff the skin, really. We could merge. We could merge. We have to merge. Did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. Okay. So they're forcing us to take this. You may want to avert your eyes. Sometimes it's good to combine them, but other times it's nice to have two cars like this to, you know, give you more options. You now have but one corpse, my god, it is stronger. So yeah, it's a, a strong guard that gives us one rabbit back. So yeah, I'm going to place the squirrel right there. The child will be in front of the raven. Alright, I'm heading out. Good luck, have fun. And you take care of yourself. The wolf cub, I would place it right there. And this. No. Okay, so we're going to simply place the skink right there, and uh, I've got to win. No, not a win. Elk fawn. I mean, I don't have the need for it. I won. Okay, I've got some money for pelts. We could sacrifice something. I'm thinking we could sacrifice the We don't need to sacrifice something. Or we could sacrifice the skink. 
by placing this king there, it's going to dodge an attack and... Uh, hmm. We then take the ringworm, this time to place on the fire. So I'm thinking we could uh, simply place the wolf cub once. Oh, the wolf, the elk fawn. Thinking the wolf. When we catch you by the fire, enhance its health, said the hungry survivor. Okay, so I could enhance the child. I mean, I would like the child to be able to survive a bit longer if I need to sacrifice it. Sure, your creature could become more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push your look or pull away. Pull away. The health of the child 13 was enhanced by warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay, so let's see. Could buff there, or could buff to the left. Nothing can strike the corpse maggot. The child would be... Hmm. Okay. Let's see. The skink. Nah. The wolf would kill them. Oh, it would. You know, deal damage there. I could pick up the cuckoo, maybe it will place a good egg. No? Oh well. Going to place it there, the coyote will kill the skink, but then the corpse my god will take its place. And give me a rabbit. Hmm. Cops, my gut will kill them both. The child will hurt the raven. The raven will. No, the child will ignore the raven. The raven will strike it. The wolf will hurt them and it will die. The porcupine will be stopped by the rabbit. Wolf would die. I could sacrifice them. 
You can kill it and survive. Something next would be able to. Oh, well. Okay, just a second. I'm going to look at something. Okay, I'm back. Um, we can boost something after getting a carving. Because then they would f say, ah, you have no duplicates. Yeah, we don't. Okay, I would take the cost of bones. A cockroach. Okay. The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. She moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age. Deadly wolves! Or stinky wolf! Deadly wolves! You hunched down to place offering in her pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Deadly wolves! I don't think we can get I mean, we place the wolf cub in the corner, we wait for it to deal th one damage on the board, the mule, we come in front of it. And we are back. So yeah, I was going to say no, I'm not going to push my luck. Just before the disconnection. Disconnection. Fire warm the weary wool the the, the weary mole and enhances power. You suspected the intention of the survivors were less than pure. With your mole in tow, you retreated into the woods. Is everybody back? I can't tell for sure. Ah. Yes, all right. Because I can't see it in, I can see on the screen. I can't see in the, the bar of chat. Does not load. Hopefully the chat will update because yeah, like I said, I could see on the screen your answer that you're present. I just couldn't see it in the chat. I still can't. 
Tando with me gold. Be done. I guess I'm gonna have to. How do I refresh? How do I refresh chat? Oh, there's the option to refresh the chat. Okay. The chat is refreshed. Okay, so the wolf would be there, going to deal. Hmm. You're going to deal one damage, move, the way the hit. Okay, going to... Okay, it's just a mole, so we can survive this. Going to place the cockroach there. You coward! That mule was defenseless! Yeah, yeah. Well, we've got more squirrels to play. Wolf wouldn't be enough to deal the damage required. So this should get me the victory. Not quite. Nope. Why would it give me a victory? But well, come on now. What did I expect? Call Smuggit. The wolf cub is there. You're going to give me bees. Well, at least one bee. Field mice, okay. Let's go to them cards. Okay. Gold, I said gold. Mm hmm. Okay. See? The child, not really going to be super useful there. Yeah. Thank you. So I could leave the turkey vulture to, you know, get me the win. 
or I could try to drag it out to try to get more damage. No, it would do the same because the wolf cub won't kill us. So, eh. Okay, second boss. We've got the gek. I think uh, the cockroach on the gek would be nice. Yep. Cockroach on gek. We'll need another map. The air grew thick with moisture. The buzzing and chirping of insects drowned out the sound of your footfalls. You beheld the woodlands. Yep, the cockroach on the gek. And, uh, yeah, oh, I would love to get the items there, but... Mm. I'm thinking the mud turtle. Cockroach on the gek. Undying free card. Stinkier tiles. Deadly wolf. Oh, and I can strike the beehive for bees. Okay, you're dead. You're going to deal two damage after I kill the beehive. And I get one B back. So I'm going to deal six damage. The kick. Just going to be able to block the damage. And I'm doomed because I can't do anything. I can only place those to stop the most damage possible because there's no way I can survive this. There's no way I can survive this. Wow, the mole.
see, there is no way for me to survive this. I mean, oh yeah, sure, it's going to kill the rattler, but then the rattler there is going to do its thing. And even then, I can place the geck right there. Place the wolf right there, which would deal no damage whatsoever. And I'm screwed. How did I survive this? There's still no way. Oh yeah, field mice, oh sure. And now what? I still lost. Oh yeah, I get another kill. So what? Well, this run is going nowhere. Tragic. Shut up. You cheated. You did the too fast too soon thing again. So that was my run, like you said, and uh, it didn't give us much more. So if you're still present, we could try, I mean, for this challenge, can we agree to pick up the bug deck instead? We'll try to unlock the other ones later. Because I think we're more likely to succeed with the bug deck. If he had placed a squirrel instead of getting the field mice, the red lawyer would have died and you could have kept plucking. Oh! Well, I did know that. I, I didn't see that. Yeah. Are we going to start with the bug deck again for this one? Because I know I need to do those, but they're not good with... Uh, I think I, I'd like to play them without the challenges. Once the challenges are done, we can... Uh, I mean... Because the challenges are already painful. If we've got the bug deck... At least we've got a chance. Uh, maybe. Still no win. But a war with regular cards. So we could get regular cards instead of rare ones. And we would get more choices and normal priced pelts. We would just get five points uh, for this, so exceeded. I know. So looks good. I'm gonna give you one more chance by yourself. All right, we've got all day. Well, I've got a long time ahead of me. Well, in half an hour, we're gonna have to take the dog out for a walk, then come back. So let's try playing with a dog, uh, a dog, uh, a bug deck again. I am anti there. I swear, today. I am anticipating some extraordinary pelts. Hair pelts. Well, you're the one who gave in to me. So I could get rid of the skunk and place it on something else. The cuckoo I like, of course. 
And the opossum costs two bones, so kind of easy to get there. I would go for the opossum. These are exquisite, my thanks. Okay, I could sacrifice something already, so I could place the skunk on the opossum. Or I could place the skunk on the ant queen, and the ant queen would spawn... No, I don't think she would spawn uh, bugs that... Uh, mm. I don't think she would spawn bugs that would stink. One time I did buff an ant queen and it did buff the worker ants. But I'm thinking placing the skunk on the opossum. At least the opossum would deal some damage and stink. We could get a rat pack straight away, then later sacrifice something. So I'm going for the rat pack. I want to allow you to take more items. In the stead, take this. A packet, always useful. Oh, we could get another rat pack right there. Flying ant. Okay, that's good. And we get to place the opossum right there. And all right. We get the win. Okay, now we can sacrifice something. We could sacrifice the skunk and place it on the rat pack or the pack rat. Or sacrificing the cuckoo and place it on the pack rat. Bugs. Another and queen. Now, right now I'm thinking sacrificing the ant queen and placing it on the flying ant. it there plus an opossum then which would deal five damage not a lot of extra damage but just enough for a win and I don't get to use items okay Mantis could place the mantis. Oh, 
Placing the cuckoo on the mantis, that'd be nice because the mantis would place... It would not matter if uh, I get a, a raven egg in front of it because it would just avoid it. The mantis would be safe from attacks except if there's an elk or another mantis striking on the side. Mm hmm. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Cuckoo on the mantis. And we get to sacrifice something again. Maybe. Okay. Going to place. Mantis right there because I don't necessarily want the skink. Ah, there you go. Do. Okay. And you're going to jump there, blocking the way to the other. Okay, yes. Hmm. The pack rat. I don't need anything right now. I'm still going to deal two damage. Well, one. Who cares? The Ant Queen. Could kill. The other. I mean, the mantis will get me the wind, so. Mm. I don't care, I don't need to change my items. Okay, can sacrifice something and then get another pack rat. Huh. Oh, the skunk placing it on the mud turtle would be nice. A stinky mud turtle. And another rat pack. All full, but... Yeah, thank you. You beheld an immense man slouch beside the murky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up and some were sloppily pushed into the hawking man's mouth. You bring fresh fish? Easy choose. Okay. Two pack rats. Well.
Go fish. need any more items than those just going to sacrifice both of them it's all right and I won Other, we could place it on the opossum. Yep. Let me see. There are sun rolls over the sleepy foes. Birds slaughtered across the path of wolves and elk. You were embarking upon the woodlands. So we've got some money but we've got the goo right there so we're going to ignore the trapper. We're going to the goo. The sparrow so we could get something to fly uh, eh. Something to evolve or something to get a shield? The pack rat could benefit from a shield. Or the raven egg. The raven egg would evolve after a while. But I think the shield sounds good. Could place the shield on a pack rat. Okay, die wolf pup. We don't want this one to evolve. And the porcupine, I mean. I could stop one damage from getting in and then yeah, he's going to die, give me a bone. Then I'm going to place another squirrel to sacrifice, place flying and somewhere and then the opossum will uh, be played to kill the wolf pup mm -mm -mm. or the Oh no, I could play the pack rat and place it there. After pausing the game. So, yeah. Two bones. Ah, uh, going to pause. I'll pass my next turn. Yeah, and then he's going to kill it. Take the hit for the sh on the shield. Then place uh, a squirrel 
play the flying ant then will give me another ant that I'm going to place it there to kill the wolf pup. Pass. That way the the hit will kill the die wolf. The adder, okay. And I won anyway. We're going to see the goo. Cost of one, the egg farm. Oh no. Ugh. What shall I paint for you? You shall paint for me. Another mantis. Uh, oi. Yeah. Mm, tricky. Please do the same. Would the master be proud? Ah, you made him useless. Well, he's going to place an obstacle, but... I would need to go to the fire. The wolf cub. No, you will take the hit. Okay. So it's going to deal enough damage if I pull this one in and extra damage because we've got two uh, pack rats okay so she's going to give us money because we've got no cards because I think we've got enough cards to survive this let's try not to do too much so she's going to give us money and then we go there to buff the mantis hopefully it's the damage are your pelts clean I have none you have none do you understand how disappointing that is I must give you this Use that to buy some pelts. Do not return empty empty again. Or what? What are you going to do to me? The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greetings. Warmer creature by the fire enhanced power, said one. Yes. Now you'll be useful. You considered leaving the creature by the fire for another moment. This would be risky. Push your luck or pull away. Okay. 
I'm going to ask you, Camille Queen, if you're still here, whether or not I should push my luck. I mean, it's a copy, and we've got one already. Shall I push my luck, or pull away? No. The power of the mantis was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from the pocket, you withdrew. So we could combine both mantis together or and two pack rats. The two mantis and the two pack rats. So they will deal full damage each or I could sacrifice something at the end of the road so sacrificing the adder and placing uh, the opossum mm, no we could buff something again Okay, again I'm going to ask you, but I think I know your answer, because I agree. I'm thinking to go to the left and merge both pack rats together as well as the mantis. Sounds good to you? Bottle cap just fell on the ground somewhere. So please excuse me. There it is. So yeah, let's merge them. Stinky wolves! Hopefully we get to this point. So yeah, placing the mantis. I think for this I'm going to place the mantis right there. And then if it's only going to deal one damage, I think it would be a good idea to stop the die wolf from, you know, showing up. Good. The path is blocked. And uh, I'm going to... Sacrifice you to place you there, then the next time I'm going to place one there. It's going to kill the porcupine, but I and I mean I don't care about killing it. It's going to hurt me once, but it's alright. Because I've won the next one. Uh, reptiles or... nah. I want bugs. Corpse maggot. I learned to love the corpse maggots. Did you bring us two of the same? We would like to experiment. 
Okay. So we're going to first of all merge the mantis. You should. You don't want to see this. So okay, they deal two damage on two sides. They're going to be protected by the egg. What have we done? And the next one will merge both pack rats. So both pack rats together they would deal four damage and they've got their shield up. Did you bring us two of the same? You would like to experiment. So we've got don't want to have that in your eyes. So yeah. The operation it is complete. Alright, and like I said, before the boss fight, I'm going to take the dog out for a walk. So, I should be back in a couple of minutes. Okay.
Okay. So, as I arrive, I see that apparently we were disconnected again because it says, Welcome to the chat room and live since 1 minute 45 seconds. So, yeah, I'm back. Is everybody back as well? Do I need to refresh the, the chat? Thank you. Alright, it's alright. You're more than enough. Here we go! Uh, the Mantis would get us the wind straight away. And would block the path of the wolf. There you go. Is this the last battle before the cabin? Um, I think not. I think we we did the the we we did the 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 the, the, the angler but uh, that's it really so it's going to turn him into gold and he will be replaced by the cost my god there's gold of them cards So I can replace the corpse maggot and get something to kill the pack mule. Gold! I struck gold! Flying ant. After. Uh, or right now. Doesn't really matter. I could just do the elk farm right there. I don't want the course my got to block why do we get a bone when we strike the border why do we get a strike the border uh what do you mean when he strikes the border when he strikes the because it considers the cows to be ours the rocks and stuff They consider them to be ours. Get him! We got a bone token after you hit it with the pickaxe. Yes! He hit the... the... the, the flying mantis that turned it into... Uh, uh, well, the, 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 the bones, and then the, 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 the cops maggot took its place before the gold, and then it struck the, the rock right there that gave us the bone, because it considers them to be ours, like I said. you eh I won anyway I mean the rattler in it doesn't matter unless I place something that flies no well I won anyway like oh yeah I can't play the rattler right there and the squirrel I guess and the no I mean the otter killed the bloodhound. But yeah, when he kills whatever is on this side, be it uh, a rock or whatever, 
It's just give us. It's just going to give us uh, a bond token. It's like when you place uh, a fur in the way of something, it's going to give us a bond token. Okay, worker ant or the magpie. The magpie, we would be placing it on the corpse maggot or something. Mm. I mean, I don't really need the magpie, but that would be nice in the long run. So sacrificing the magpie and placing it on the maggot. We will need another map. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chilling bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. Okay. Cost of blood, cost of bones, or sigils. I mean, if it, they place the ant queen with the opossum, we lost. But I think, really, cost of blood? No, I think the sigils. Let the trial wisdom begin. Yeah. Two, one, two. Success. Oh, stinky die wolf pub that will turn into a die wolf. Mm-hmm. A flying mealworm. Yeah. Yep. Die wolf pub. We could get the items. Square all. Um, black coat, I think, and uh, scissors. Okay, so the other will be able to kill the moose box straight away. And move right there. Okay. The adder is going to die after this. It's all right. Just going to take the moose bug out of there. The squirrel could be placed there for the flying ant to strike there. The opossum. Could be placed there. Please. The worker ant. Going to kill this one. It's going to hurt uh, to strike the ball directly. The worker ant would kill the mole man. But 
then yeah, I think I would much rather take him out. Okay, now the elk is blocked. The pack rat. Oh, I did notice that I was one damage from winning. Oh, okay. Cost of bones, cost of health. Uh, no, cost of bone, health, or cost of blood. I would think cost of blood. The HP? Uh, the HP. If they put it them there, no. The cost of blood. Let's have blood begin. Yep. Two, two and zero. You have passed. Oh. Deadly coyote or the worker ant that gives us an ant back. Well, another ant plus it has the alpha sigil. Give us some items. Scissors. Pliers. And our glass. Okay. I'll pass my next turn. Yeah, you do that. I'll pass, yes. And I won anyway, so hey. Thank you. Okay, so another item right there. Ringworm. There's no need for the ringworm anymore. Well, the black goat. Ah, the hourglass again. Oh, we've got the goo on the left. Elk farm. Going to kill the squirrel, get the coarse maggot on the board. Kill them both.
Wait your turn. I'll pass my next turn. Pass. And the pack rat. Oh, how convenient that you are here right now. Thank you. Thank you. We've got the goo. Uh, attack. Sigils. Or blood. They give me those. We lose. Or oh, that one. So I'm thinking again. The sigils. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Yep. Two, one, two. You have passed. Oh! Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Plus rabbit, bees, stinky, gives bones. I mean, the first one, the first cars that will attack me on this fight will be the the trap frogs, the fake frogs, and one real frog. So they will be losing their attacks. But I'm still getting a rabbit. And on the long run, the beehive would be best way to go about it. And we've got the goo right there. We could buff something. So we could buff, might as well buff the beehive, right? Warmer creature by the fire, enhanced power, see the hungry survivor. So yeah, I'm thinking buffing the beehive. Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful, but the survivors look hungrier by the second. Yeah, warm honey, but stinky by the rabbit uh, fecal matter. Push your luck a pull away. The fire warmed the weary beehive. Oh yeah, because it's super tired. And enhanced power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your beehive in tow, you retreated into the woods. Oh yeah, super tired beehive right there. We could get another pack rat. We would need another pack rat. I apologize in advance. I will paint just like the master. Yep, the pack rat. Ugh. I will paint your card. Yep. Do you like it? Oh, it's a great one! Please say something. It's a great one, I said it. The trapper stood before you. Out of habit, you reached for your collection of teeth. The man grimaced and shook his head. I'm afraid I must be skinning you today. Okay. Oh, now it's a fake one. Oh well. Still going to... Hmm. I think I could wait my turn. 
I can take a hit, or I could just get the fly and take one fur from it. Or I could place the worker ant right there. It would deal one damage on the board and which would stand one strike after dealing once. And we've got two bones in case we get something. Okay. Squirrel. Get this one out of there. And, uh, mm, yeah. It's all right, really, because I won this one. The skinning knife turns. Let's raid. Such powerful creatures. Choose wisely. Well, I know which ones I'm going to take. The Addo is going to kill the River Snapper. Or. No, I could just place it in front of anything, really. Because, no, I don't want to kill the River Snapper. I'm going to take the, the, the Addo, obviously, so that the Pack Rat has room to hit. And then I'm going to place uh, the Addo on the Raven. Try it for where you can, but notice, the rest will stay and fight for me. Hmm, very well. So yeah, need another squirrel. Do not make the mistake. So five damage, I won. Now we are in the cabin. Ah, Warren again. The Warren, we could place it on the Black Goat. Why not? I mean, yeah, we could place the Warren on the Black Goat. It's going to be worth three blood and give us a rabbit back. Let me think. Warren, Black Goat, okay, this will be your final test, yes, one more to be safe, okay, Okay, now we've got the beehive that will allow us for the magpie. The stinky die wolf. Later. So, the mole man would stop. Yeah, I know. So... Yeah, the beehive is going to be there. Rabbit. Now we've got two things to sacrifice.
Hmm. I mean, I could block the path of the amalgam with this. Uh, the, the mole man would stop me. Would stop the... Okay, let's think. Let's think. The magpie would be there after killing them both. It allows us to look through the deck. We could look for the pack rat. The pack rat that deals uh, for damage when flying, but it's still going to take this hit. Or we could play the Dire Wolf Pop. The Dire Wolf Pop would strike here. The Mole Man would block it once. But then there's going to be another card coming. So now the, the Magpie is the way to go about it. We could go for the Pack Rat that flies. So after killing the Mole Man the second hit. Uh, or we could place the mantis the mantis right there would deal 4 damage on the board we could block the path of the amalgam even if the, path, the, the mantis is going to be blocked right there still going to so the mole man would block this path there's something that could hmm, but might be a raven egg that spawns there or we could get the black goat to sacrifice the magpie then place another card like the wolf pop no the pack rat The pack rats uh, uh, sound like the best way to go about it. I mean, this pack rat would be there. Strike the mole man the first time, kill it the second. Then the amalgam comes here, strikes at the pack rat. The pack rat can take it because of the shield, then kills the amalgam. But while we're doing this, cars may appear here to kill me. So I think for this we need to place the mantis with the egg there. So for this I'm going to ask you Camille Queen if you're going to confirm with me to put on the mantis right there. It's going to strike for two right there. It doesn't matter because it's going to block the path of the amalgam. So, it's either going to be a raven egg, or it's going to be a normal egg. Or we're going to take one of the pack rat, but I don't know which one. Yes. Yes what? The mantis or a pack rat? the bug so yeah I'm going to place the mantis right there oh it's a raven egg now so we're going to pull a tooth So the Raven Egg deals zero damage right now, or is it going to evolve straight away? It evolves straight away. Thank you. 
We lost? How about that? You made shut up. Yeah. So close and he decides to just do us like that. So now, I guess it's your turn. I am anticipating some extraordinary pelts. Hair yeah, pelts. Oh, we've got cockroach and the ringworm. Ant and the worm. You have my gratitude. Okay, boosting something, carving or fire. The worm, obviously, for the fire. Or do you want us to wait to get there and sacrifice the worm? An early sacrifice, maybe. Fire. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire, enhanced power, said one. Okay. Surely a creature could become more powerful. But you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push a luck or pull away. Ah. The fire warmed the weary ringworm and enhanced its power. You suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your ringworm in tow, you retreated into the woods. Moving bugs. Okay, so do you want us to sacrifice the ringworm for real? <coughs> for real? Oh, just watch one on this thing. Okay. Okay, so we've got cockroach or mantis. The cockroach would be nice, I guess, on... Uh, hmm, I don't know which one. Or the mantis strikes twice. But the cockroach is better. Bug number one. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight, though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. 
Or am I could you by the fire? Enhance its health, that one. Oh well. You again! Keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful, but the survivors look hungrier by the second. Oh. The fire warmed the wing warm and enhanced its health. We suspected the intentions of the survivors were less than pure. With your ring warm in tow, you retreated into the woods. Mm -mm. Well, now we've got the strong ring warm. Don't want to sacrifice swing room now. Nope. Same. I agree with you there. I'm stupid. I, I didn't realize that I was about to win. Oh well. I could have placed at the end. Uh, oh well. Oh well. Hmm. Okay, we've got the mantis or mud turtle. The bug. Okay, we don't want to sacrifice the ring worm anymore because it's such a strong one, but we could buff it. Or we could buff the mantis. Or we could buff the skunk. Left. Sure? It's not going to be a no right. Left going once. Left going twice. Left going thrice. I'm going left. All right. No, no, no. It's, it's not about bluffing. It's just uh, uh, because myself, I change. Uh, uh, ideas many times, so I just want to make sure that uh, you're not changing your mind. You came upon the old wood carver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After another long moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Oh, well, bugs. Do I really need to ask? You hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. 
well, yeah, bug. I mean, I don't even need to ask you that, because we both agree on this. I even... I already know that we both agree. Fire. Yep. Oh, cop max. Nah, corpse maggots. More bugs. We can't go wrong with the bug deck. A crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said, but perhaps one of the creatures will join us, enhance its health, said another. So I could upgrade the health of the mantis or the flying ant. It's going to be up to you, really. I'm not sure which. Mantis two times So you are alright if we risk to kill it Alright Keep it right there said one survivor The creature could become more powerful But the survivors look hungrier by the second So a second time you're sure Alright. Okay, good. Good call. The health of the mantis was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. Okay. So, because this, this is a bug deck, I imagine we're going to sacrifice a skunk and place it on something else. Infinite ringworms. Well, sounds good. I agree with that, so there's no sacrificing the ringworm this time. The mud tugged hard at your feet, forcing you to slow your pace. A rank odor caused your stomach to churn and your eyes to water. It was the rotting fish that hung from the branches around you. A huge man approached. Cool fish. Mm -hmm.
What did I do? What did I do? Why did I not put the squirrel there? Why did I not put the squirrel there? <laughs> Why did I not put the squirrel there? Why did I not put the squirrel there? Why did I not put it there? Why? Why? Yeah, and uh, it's going to deal full damage and then yeah. Go fish. Okay, another cockroach. Yep. Mm. Oh yes, I know. The relief of the fresh air quickly gave way to a bone-shaking chill. You guessed at the path ahead as the snow increasingly obscured it. You had climbed to the snow line. The goo. The goo. We can place the, the ringworm there. The goo. Oh, the black goat. We can place the black goat on the cockroach. Or the cockroach on the black goat. It's not a bug, but it's going to be less expensive. The infinite goat. Right? black goat and the roach but yeah because at some point we'll need another piece of carving to go with the head of the bugs just say you like the painting uh, uh, what shall I paint for you 
Oh, the, it does not give me the, the worm as an option. Well, I guess the cockroach then, right? Or the black goat. I could sacrifice later a black goat and place it on a skunk. The mantis? You sure? Yeah, it has 5 HP. Can be a tank. We could not have two tanks. Sure? Alright. Mmm, tricky. Don't give us a zero hit. Ah, thank you. Would the master be proud? Yes. We are. And we can either merge them together or merge the flying ants. Because then we'd have two mantis to strike the board instead of, you know. Merge the mantis. Yep, yeah, that's the idea. Okay, now the cops my god is right there. No, I guess we're not going to make it out of there alive. We did two on the board, this one dies, goes back into her hand, but... Okay, so the raven egg would evolve again, so they would deal two, four, five. I'm dead. If I place the ringworm there, it's going to kill that one. So it's going to deal two, four, five again. Or kill that one, which I don't see why I would kill the squirrel. Place it there. I mean, oh yeah, it would kill the raven egg. So two, three, three damage, three damage. So yeah, deal 3 damage on the board. But then, hmm. Ooh. 
we can't play the cockroach yet. So this is where to kill them both. They're still going to deal. The mantis. Okay, so I could place the cockroach right that would deal so it would deal three damage so we're done so one there three damage we're still done cockroach right there i mean the mantis would be there after the uh, i've killed that one he would deal 2 damage. One damage and I'm out. I've got one bone there, this one kills the rabbit, plus the elk there. They, they both die, this one deals two, they deal three. But I could place the squirrel right there to block the attack of the elk fawn. So can deal two, he deals one, okay. No, 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 what a shame, shut up. Nope, 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 nope. So do you want us to change deck again or do you want us to keep going with the bug deck? You can do on your own again. Or okay, so we do we alternate each. Okay. We alternate. Okay. I'm anticipating some Extraordinary pelts. Hair yeah, pelts. Okay. So, the black goat, it's not even a question, and the feared mice. To create doubles. These are exquisites, my tanks. Imagine if I place the black goat on the feared mice. No. Or the field mice and the black goat. It would create copies of the black goat in my hand. Mm -hmm. The warm light of a campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greetings. Warmer creature by the fire, enhanced power, said one. Yep, I'm thinking... I'm going to upgrade the black goat. It would deal one damage and then I'm going to sacrifice the field mice to place on it. Then it's going to create copies in my hand that I can sacrifice later for stuff that would... Uh, no, keep it right there, said one survivor. The creature could become more powerful, but the survivors look hungrier by the second. Nope. The power of the black goat was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew. I could buff it again. I could buff the black goat or bluff the skunk. I don't have anywhere to sacrifice or I could get a rat pack after a normal fight. I kind of want a rat pack. A ringworm.
Extra money it is. And we'll get new items. Okay, so we've got a flying ant again. Or another ant queen. Bleach. A beehive. Flying ants. Okay, now we've got money. Well, we've got the B. Thank you. And we can get the rat pack. Plus something from the gold man. Another fly and that twitches. Your pack was full, but small critter approach. Ah, twitchy eye. Pack rat, always useful. Stop it. Okay. There's a big dog outside barking. Thank you. 
and two extra damage. We get gold. Care for a game chance? Pick a boulder! Show me what to strike! Matsid Vasha Malopat Tiron la parla que elle ira bien mieux dans un jour ou deux. No gold? This is a strange looking environment. Take it. It's a good one. All right. We could buff something. I could get another pack rat and sacrifice the field mice, place it on the black goat. All full, but a pack rat always useful. You. Yep. There you go. What you first mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You turned to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. Go fish. This time, I need to concentrate. Take the squirrel, place it there. I need not to make a stupid mistake again. Another flame ant. Pick the squirrel, place the squirrel. Pick a squirrel, place it, lay the flying and pick another squirrel, place it. Pick a squirrel. Wait. Go fish. Pick a squirrel. Wait for it. Maybe I'll get another ant. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Of course I'm going to get another ant. What a silly question. Thank you. Some more iced tea because I'm parched. You have no idea how many bottles of iced tea empty. Hmm. Mud turtle, I could uh, sacrifice it and place it on something else, or just sacrifice the skunk and place it on. Mm. A moment. You heard the howling of wolves greeting the morning sun. 
the sight of a nearby coyote caused you to quicken your pace. You had reached the woodlands. We could get another pack rat again. Or we could buff something at a fire. We could buff the mantis. We could buff the skunk. Nope. I want bugs. Nah. The alpha. Good. It works with the ants. Going to sacrifice the alpha. The crackling fire lit the starving faces of a group of survivors. We have not food, one said. But perhaps when new creatures will join us, enhance his power, said another. Okay, I am going to upgrade the skunk, I guess. Or I could sacrifice the skunk and place it on something. Nah, the skunk will deal damage. Or it will die. Surely a creature could become more powerful, but you would need to risk another moment by the fire. Push a lock? Yeah. Oh, darn it. Before you could stop them, one of the survivors seized your skunk and began tearing at his flesh. Ah, take it. The other survivors followed the example and began devouring your creature alive. Fearing for your own life, you retreated. Eh. I guess they've got a strong stomach. Okay. You'll kill him and uh, yeah. It's funny because you think I care. If I get a Nant, no, I got a Mud Turtle. Oh well. I can merge something or place the Alpha onto. Or uh, a flying ant. Could place one on a flying ant, yes. Another black goat? Another black goat, eh? Hmm. A black goat and a flying ant. Hmm. Yeah.
a bit, die wolf pop. Eh, and we're back. Is everybody back as well? All right. That's the third time. Okay. Oh, and I got a message as well. 